Hi there and welcome to ZDNet. Let's talk about how to use AirDrop. If you've ever wanted to just pick up a photo from your iPhone with your fingers and basically drop it into your iMac or iPad, AirDrop will kind of do that for you. You can use AirDrop to share files, pictures, contacts, even links and more between Apple devices. First, you want to make sure your Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are turned on for both devices and that AirDrop is enabled. Apple also recommends turning off the personal hotspot to use AirDrop. Then you want to find what you want to share. I'm going to share this picture with my iPad with the rubber ducky cake. So I'm just going to press the share button, which is the square with the arrow pointing up. And instead of a contact, we're going to choose AirDrop. And you can see my iPad, which is who I'm going to share it with. When you send something to another one of your devices with the same Apple ID, it will be automatically accepted. So you can see the picture will show up right here without me having to accept it from my iPad. Now when you send something to somebody else, they'll have to accept it before they get it in their phone. Now if you're having issues with AirDrop, here's a couple things you may need to do. If you're not finding someone nearby that you want to send something to, make sure of course their Bluetooth is turned on, their Wi-Fi is on, and the personal hotspot is off. And then check that their AirDrop settings can accept what you send. If you choose receiving off, you won't appear on anyone's phone to AirDrop to. If you choose contacts only, then you have to have the other phone number saved as a contact, either have their phone number or their email address that they use for their Apple ID. And then if you choose everyone, that you'll appear on anyone's phone. If you can turn on receiving for some reason, you may have a restriction on AirDrop. So what you have to do to fix that is go to settings and then select screen time. And then we're going to go to content and privacy restrictions and select allowed apps. And we want to make sure that AirDrop is enabled here. And there it is. I hope this was helpful and thanks for watching.